I asked my 11 year old what we should get his mom for Mother's Day. He said maybe some flowers or a picture frame or take her to a nice restaurant. Those are good ideas, I said, but they're not very original. Maybe we can be more creative. And by creative, I mean looking on the internet and copying what other people are doing. Now, I'm admittedly not much of a shopper on the internet or anywhere else for that matter. So my default shopping strategy is to type Mother's Day gift ideas into Google and see what pops up. One of the first things on the list was a link to Amazon.com. I've heard of Amazon, so I went there fully expecting to find the mother load, so to speak, of Mother's Day gift ideas. Here are some of the things that showed up on an Amazon.com's list of top gifts. Toilet paper printed with the face of famous politicians. Nothing says I love you, Mom, more than the gift of flushing Donald Trump down the toilet three times a day, I suppose. Another was a credit card survival knife. I know my wife pretty well, believe me. She'd much rather have just the credit card. You can keep the knife. There was a vino to go wine glass with a spill proof top. Most people I know can walk from point A to point B without spilling a drink. So I guess the top is for when you're drinking wine while running or riding an ATV or driving a car. There were plantar fasciitis socks with arch support. I have to admit that would be a unique Mother's Day gift. So I refined my search to zero in on Mother's Day. There I found an extensive list of lovely Mother's Day gifts all of them picture frames and flowers. Turns out my 11 year old is more original than I gave him credit for. I'm Brent Batten. Check out my column on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays in the Naples Daily News. And as always, thanks for watching.